Good evening from Britain. It is your truly, once again, with another long overdue unboxing. Due to the nature of this video, there will be no takes, so it is what it is. Anyway, the figure I present to you today is actually one I got two years ago during a birthday trip to Japan. I binged quite a bit on figures, including purchases from Mandraki and a couple other places. I got this one from a store that was selling the figure arts or the D-Arts Charizard at the time, and it was at a discount, so I thought, it's Get a Robo, so I not. Oh, by the way, also during the course of this video, I propose a drinking game, and that is a drink for every time I say or say a word with get in it. Have fun with that. So yes, this figure is a Shadow of Chogokin Get a Dragon, and this particular incarnation is from the Shin Get a Robo, The Last Day OVA. Now, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So, again, we're sorting through my toys, and I noticed that this hadn't been opened yet. So, due to it being a Sotra Gokin, we're probably going to expect a um, styrofoam tray. By the way, if you want to know what the box looks like, just look it up online, see the details right there, GX51. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is definitely hasn't been opened. Ah, oh, crap, there's tape down there, isn't there? Well, I kind of bollocks that a bit. Damn it. Um, okay, and where's... Right. Whoops, I should have checked. Um, well, that's the value of that box gone. Uh, let's try this way around. Maybe I might be able to... Get that refocused a bit. Damn thing. Right. There we go. I'll just sort that out later. So, um. Right. Okay. Now, since this thing has been entombed for over six years, the joints are probably going to be needed by waking up. So, there are some of the parts it comes with some extra hands, some hands for the folding, folding pose. And also a stand to put it on. Uh, so let's see. Actually, is the figure actually in there already? In here, I mean. So, why, yes, it is. So I wonder what that other stuff in the box is for. Hmm. Oh, I think that might be the stand. Ooh. Good lord. So yeah, it's the stand as well as the uh, muck wing it comes with. Actually, no, wait. Do you have to assemble this? I think we might have to assemble this. Okay. Now, considering this is an older Tamashi release, does it have tape on it? Look. Mm, yes, it does. I'll find that bit in the middle, and then we can get it out. Oh, man, come on, where is that gap? There we go. That's the spirit. Okay, one. Is there any more up here? Yes, there is. Excuse me, folks. There's a lot of tape with this. I mean a lot of tape. So that means there's also some down there as well. Mm. 
Mm, come on. Yep. Finery! Finally! Time to um, So I think. Oh, that! I think that's for the folding arms. Um, okay. Looks like we have to build to get a dragon. Yes, styrofoam. Why? Uh, Yep, so that's the main body. Pretty heavy too, Jesus. When, when, when again, why am I surprised? It is a soul of Chogokin. Oh. Yeah, so a quick look at the main body. Oh, it's a lot more fluid than I thought it would be. Because the thing with, Ch with Souls of Chogokins is they're very clickly click click. This one's actually a lot more loose than I thought it would be. Don't know if that's the case or if that's some kind of, I don't know, some kind of defect. Let's get the neck in there. As you'll notice, a lot of um, robots from this era, they use the same body type, so if it looks similar to the likes of Mazing Z, then now you know. Okay, so, first things first. Ah, so it's like a model kit of sorts, that's pretty neat. Then again, this is technically my first um, shoal of Chogokin, not like the Gokin, Gigan, or Kiru, so I don't know if this is a thing with the shoal of Chogokins or on what, so. Okay. Time to get the shoulder pads on Shingeta Dragon. Sorry, I mean Geta Dragon. I get that mixed up because the original Getter Dragon had a slightly different colour scheme than this one. Um, oh boy. Well this is going to be fun I can tell. Didn't hear a click, so I'm not really sure, but that's a one. Get the one, get the two, get the three, get the robot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The good old squiggling trick. Uh, hang on. Aha! Okay, that's one, so let's check. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Because the other one clicked and this one didn't, so... Alright. Hmm. I suppose that's going to have to do for now in regards to the shoulder pads. So, let's see. Then the arms next. <clears throat> yeah. Loose in some areas like the legs, but also very stiff in the torso. Okay, okay. Oh, it turns out I need that other tray anyway because this doesn't have the hands. So there's the getter, hang on if I can just Come on, I don't have time for this. I don't mind. So, this is part of the arm and it has the awesome getter cutter which can rotate. So that's pretty cool. So, I believe... Okay. Let's get that in the right position. Okay. Ah, uh, those good old ratchet joints. 
a pain in the ass sometimes, but also at the same time a nice reassurance that this thing's going to be nice and secure. Okay. See, as I was saying before, the original Geta Dragon was had the red and it had the blue, and I think it had the yellow. But for Shin Geta Roba, the last day, they decided to give Shin Dragon... Not Shin Dragon, excuse me, once again! They decided to give Geta Dragon the regular Geta Robo colours. So, is there anything else I'm missing from this tray besides from the awesome cape? No, I think I'm good. So, it's just the head. Very ugly looking head there. It should just plop in there nicely, hopefully. Yay! There we go, now just for the hands, and then we're good to go. Looking sexy. Ah, oh, I should have known, this tray with the hands has tape as well. So while I'm trying to cut this thing open, you can admire get a dragon for a few seconds. As he stares into your soul. Wow, they really upped it on the tape. I don't think during this is a release from 2009. And this was before Tamashi Nation started slapping their logo on every as on every face of the boxes. I'm not surprised. Like finery. Okay. Time to get this out and attach it to sh get a dragon. There we go. Not Shin Geta or whatever. Oh, I'm getting a lot of um, pamphlets today for some reason. So, let's see, what hands? Let's see. Mm. I think I'll use the open hands. And if I can just get them out. Yeah, oh, you think I'll use these open hands because I think they'll be a bit easier to put on. Okay, so is this open or is it... Okay, good. One. Okay, come on. One, 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 one. One. Two. Okay, so figure out what the thumbs are. So, yeah. Um, okay. Right. Oh boy, here comes the best part of any figure from Bandai. The hand placement. I am not getting the hairdryer out, not, not today. Uh oh, got a bit careful. Wow, this is a tough son of a bitch, let me tell you. Yeah, looking like he's in pain. Okay, let's, let's try this approach. This is so much fun. Come on, give me that click. Give me that click, come on. Yay! Okay, that's one. They are kind of screwed up everything on the shoulder now. Oh, actually, no. No, that one turned out okay. He looked and get a dragon looks like he's in a state of horror from that angle. <laughs> now for the other one, yay! The shoulder pads are actually being a lot more. I don't know. They're staying on a lot longer than I thought they would be. So that's good. Like, come on! Click, 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 click. Come on, get in there. <clears throat> oh boy. Ah, phew! That took a lot of force. Okay, now let's get him out of Spaz's stance and let's get, actually get him into... 
something more presentable pretty quick there we go there we go Getter Dragon from Shin Getter Lobo Wow Gotta say, once it's actually put together, once you've gone through all that pain and suffering It looks pretty damn good When it comes to Reds, Bandai know what they're doing Alright, so Hang on this one's this this cut seems to be a bit jammed. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Alright, so before my camera inadvertently dies, let's get a quick size comparison. Oh yes! I brought along a few of his friends. Not Liger or um whatever the dragon equivalent to Getter 3 is. So also hailing from Shin Getter Robo the last day. The original Guitar One, and this is Super Robot Chokokin, by the way. The size kind of gives it away. And then um, the star of Shin Getter Robo: The Last Day itself, Shin Getter One. It... Wow, the I gave him the Mars the Shin Mazinga God Scrander because the wings that he comes with you know, if I put him back a bit further and then help revive Ghetto One and also get the camera angle there there we go Whew. there looking pretty sweet so yeah Soul of Chogokin Ghetto Dragon alongside Super Robot Chogokin Getter One and Shin Getter One. That's actually a pretty decent setup. So all, all three of these range from the same series and actually put even though the sizing is obviously inaccurate because he should be around the same size as him, but despite that, there's actually a like I've said like I said just now, it's actually a pretty decent setup. I can get this pretty well. So that pretty much concludes this unboxing. I am not going to attach this to get a dragon because it looks to be a complete pain in the butt. Because you, as you can see here, the little holes for the joints are in these spots there. So no thank you. So, thanks everyone for watching, I suppose. And uh, sorry I had to put up with all that construct Ding nonsense, I did not expect that at all. I thought it was just going to be the complete figure in the um, styrofoam coffin, but no. And uh, I guess, have a good Christmas. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Oi. Bye.